Fandalina. Fandalina. Got this in the library. Got this in the library, didn't we? A couple of weeks ago. Yep. Okay. Okay. Long ago, there was a beautiful girl as tiny as your thumb. She was called Fandalina. Mm. One night, a troll stole her away and trapped. On a lily pad, you will marry my son, she said. Thumbelina cried. What the said it was horrible. Oh, he's not very nice, is he, that toad? A fish heard Thumbelina crying and nibbled the lily pad free. Oh. Thumbelina floated away and a kind butterfly pulled her along. Oh. Wait. Mum, oh, sorry, sorry, around. you want to see. Oh. Okay, keep going. I want to see. Don't stop, babe, so the film might run out. Then a beetle swooped down and grabbed Thumbelina. The beetle friend thought she was ugly, so he left her on a daisy. Yeah. All summer, Thumbelina listened happily to the birds singing sweetly. But winter soon came and Thumbelina started to freeze. Oh, dear. A field mouse rescued her. You can stay with me, she said, but you must marry my friend, the mole. He lives in the ground. The mole showed from Lena a dead swallow at the end of his tunnel. Oh. Stupid bird, he said as he kicked it. That's not very nice, is it? Not very, no. He wasn't a very nice mole. Thumbelina kissed the boss swallow. Thank you for singing so sweetly last summer, she said. Mm, I like that picture. Thumbelina made a blanket to cover the swallow. As she laid it over him, the swallow moved. He was alive, but his wing was torn. Mm. Thumbelina nursed the swallow better until springtime. Thank you, but I must go soon, he said. What will you do? Oh. I must stay here, said Thumbelina. The field mouse is planning my wedding with them to the miserable mole. Mm. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the wing? <laughs> is, okay. Is that the swallow you were just doing? <laughs> okay. The day before her wedding, Thumbelina looked had Thumbelina took a long last look at the outside world. Well done. She would live underground from now on. Just then the swallow saw her and flew down. Dear Thumbelina, he said, do come with me. The swallow spreaded his wings and Thumbelina clambered on. Well done. Oh, hang on, don't miss that page. Da! They flew over fields, seas and mountains. That looks like a road, but it's um, sea. <laughs> it's a grey sea, isn't it? Yeah. Finally, they landed in the swallow's snug nest. Thumbelina was safe and happy at last. Mm. Oh, look at that little bird in that tree. Oh, that's nice. And it? that that bird uh, has a nice house. It has lots of little trees and a little pond through it. Mm. That... Do, you think, do you think Thumbelina will be happy living there with the swallow? Yes, and every day Thumbelina can go and have a play in the trees. Oh, she can, can't she? Yeah. So do you like that story, Beth? Yes, and she can um, play in the stream. Mm, I suppose she can, can't she? She can uh, go for uh, rides on the swallow's back as well, can't she? Yes. Uh, uh, and, she, and how she can get across, she can step on the stones to get across. Mm. Fabulous. So you like that book? Yeah. How many marks out of ten are you going to give it? What? How many marks out of ten? So ten would be excellent. Five would be quite good. Zero would be it's rubbish. Nine would be ten. almost at You would give it ten, would you? Cause I, because at the 
end, I love it because at that bit, um, because someone lives there, she can play in the trees and it looks like a nice garden for the birds. Because the birds can play in the trees all day long and have a look and play in the stream. In the stream. Much nicer than being underground with a miserable old mole, eh? Yes. Okay.